Hey everyone, Chris here at Tradier. Today we're going to go through how to fund your account. So we'll look at those different funding options, the pros and cons of each, and then we'll walk through how to submit each of them on our website. In any case, you're going to use the fund button on the Tradier website. We'll click on that. You'll see your different choices here on the left hand side. Let's talk a little bit about each. A wire, that's going to be something that you submit directly with your bank. It's fast, usually gets here within two to five hours, and is immediately available to trade with once we receive the funds. There is also no limit to doing a wire transfer. However, like we said, you do have to either go to your bank or submit an online request with them to send that wire. ACH is the easiest method. Typically, a lot of folks will set up ACH transfers so that they can move funds in and out of the account right online. It'll take a day to up to four days possibly for the funds to reach their destination. For incoming ACH transfers, we will typically hold initial deposits for four business days. So if you're in a hurry to trade, maybe a wire transfer would be better. And there is a limit of $25,000 per day, either incoming or outgoing. But again, ease of transfer, that's the best one. We also offer you the ability to mail a check. Obviously, that's going to be the slowest, but if you have something like a rollover uh, that you need to do via check, we offer that. And then ACAT transfer. An ACAT is going to allow you to move assets from another brokerage firm directly. That has the benefit of allowing you to not have to sell any positions or close anything out. You can bring things over as is with your cost basis. You can bring cash. You can bring securities. It's a straightforward process that usually takes about three to five days. So let's look at each one of these and what they look like on our website. If you choose to do a wire, you're going to be prompted with two choices of either a domestic wire or an international wire. Let's choose domestic for this case. On the screen, you will be provided with the details of the wire transfer that you will need to provide to your bank. It's very important that you provide all this information, especially further credit to your name and your Tradier account number. That will be a memo on the wire and it tells us what account to put that wire into. Failures to include this information on your wire transfer request may result in your wire being delayed or even rejected. We have some FAQs about wires down at the bottom, so please make sure to pay attention to those before sending in a wire transfer. Next, ACH. The first time that you want to set up ACH, you will need to create an ACH profile. Once the ACH profile is established, you can move funds into and out of the bank account that it is linked with. You have two choices to set this up. You can either set up with Plaid or do a manual verification if only if your bank is not available with Plaid. So let's take a look a little bit at what this looks like. You'll hit the set up with Plaid button. A new screen will come up that allows you to use Plaid, a third party, to connect your account. You'll click the continue button. You'll be asked to put in your phone number and then you'll click continue. You'll choose your bank and you'll be able to set it up right there. Our brokerage team will receive the information that you sent and then we'll follow up with anything else that is required. Please keep in mind that we only permit one ACH profile per account. If you need to remove that ACH profile to switch banks, 
please contact our service team to do so. We accept checks via mail. It's very important that you make your check payable to Apex Clearing, Inc., but mail it to Tradier Brokerage here in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you're going to send it overnight, you'll still send it to our physical address right here. Please allow standard mailing time for your check to arrive. Finally, let's talk about that ACAT transfer, transferring funds from another brokerage. You'll click on the ACAT on the left-hand menu, and then you will click Get Started. This button is for full ACAT transfers only, and if you do not find the name of the firm on the list of firms you can transfer from, you will need to follow the same manual process available here for partial transfers by clicking this link. That will bring you to a DocuSign process where you can fill in the details there. But for full transfers, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So we choose full transfer automatically. We select a brokerage firm from this list. We choose how the brokerage account is titled. So is it an individual, joint, IRA, an entity account, a trust, another type of IRA? You'll put in your brokerage account number at the other firm, not your tradier account number. We know that. So we'll put that in. And then you'll put in your social security number with no dashes. If you do not have a social security number because you have an international account with us, please put in all nines. Once everything looks good, you can go ahead and hit the submit button and our team will receive that request. Finally, I'll point out that here on the left hand side you can choose recent transactions to see any recent deposits or withdrawals that you've made on the account. That does it for today. If you have any questions please reach out to our team service at tradierbrokerage.com or give us a call 980-272-3880. You can also visit tradier.com for additional resources about our tools and trading platforms. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to take some time to read the disclaimer. Thank you.